It's September 3rd, 2010. I'm Stephen Chenault, and this is Troll Lord Games. It's late Friday afternoon. Mark's gone home. I think Peter's checked out. I haven't actually seen Davis in about 10 days, so I have absolutely no idea where he is. Um, I was hoping he would wander by so he could help me with his video, as he sometimes does on Friday, but uh, yeah, there you have it. So, it's been a pretty busy uh, summer. We finished up TrollCon in July. We had great attendance, up to that 20 or 30 percent, something like that, I'm not sure, uh, off the top. And uh, followed that with going to Gen Con. Had a really good Gen Con as well. Uh, we had to move uh, TrollCon East out of, out of August, and we moved it into uh, October. It's at the same location, location in uh, West Berlin, New Jersey. It's all things fun. You can find them on the net. You go to our website and type it in. You Yahoo these guys and, and they'll pop up too. Uh, Ed Evans runs the store. It's a great shop. Uh, he's got a webcam, the whole nine yards. In fact, the whole Trollcon East, I think, will be on webcam. So those of you who can't make it, uh, you just come in, you know, at least check out what we're doing. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun, October 23rd again. Uh, so we've come off of this busy summer and it looks like uh, we go right into the, the the CKG on my desk and uh, on, on my desk as well, and Brian's was updating the whole cart system for the for the website. This is uh, something I've been itching to do for quite a while, and uh, Brian and I have been working around solutions. Uh, he's he, he really came through and got the thing all put together, and then kind of taught me how to help him upload stuff. So we worked together and get all that stuff done. Been a lot of late night, uh, late nights with it, but uh, we've got a full oper operational operating uh, cart system, and you can come in now and use your credit cards, uh, or if you still prefer to use PayPal, you, you can do that as well. Uh, all the products are up. We're migrating everything from the old website, not everything, but all the products from the old website uh, to the cart system. So when you when you click on a product that says advertise on the, the homepage, it'll go right into the cart system. Uh, this, we will continue to update that with uh, downloadable PDFs and images and stuff like that so folks can see what's what's actually in the book they're buying. And that will come a time Brian has given me, he, he's given me the tools, taught me how to actually do the coding. So I'll do that at nights uh, when I'm bored and Brian of course will do it as well. And we'll migrate all of that, all of that PDF support material that you see into the actual pages, the catalog pages. Uh, the anvil and the store will all be kind of merged into one into the into the car system. So much more efficient, much easier on you guys when you want to pick up the latest troll releases or even some of the old stuff. Um, so that's all really good news. Uh, we will be doing a weekly special. I think probably every Saturday or Sunday I'll put something new up in the special thing, market discount it, whatever, uh, and then you guys can snag that. Uh, Lord knows what it'll be, whatever comes across my mind. Uh, and of course, CKG, big news there. Uh, we've been hammering away at it, uh, and by we I mean mostly me. And Davis is pretty much done with it. I gave him the, the aerial combat rules the other day to go over. I emailed them to him. I know I, I know he got them. But um, uh, yeah, I think I'm on wrapping up chapter nine, which is equipment from the CKG point of view, which is uh, wastage, weathering, uh, equipment pricing, stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll be plunging into chapter ten, which is land. For treasure, I believe. Uh, the good thing is the next, I believe the next five chapters are written. They need cleaning and editing. Uh, for instance, the land for treasure. I, I wrote that chapter and it's got, it only takes you up to 12th level. And, but obviously with the CKG you can go up to 24th level, so I need to go in there and, and expand those those tables in there to the 24th level. But uh, no, nothing nothing earth shattering. So at this point it's, it's kind of a of rapid progress, much faster than I anticipated going after 12. I thought I was going to have some, a lot of bumps, but uh, I got into a whole lot of files, uh, didn't realize when I organized everything and put everything together, I didn't realize how much actually was written on certain sections. I thought the entire combat section was thin, it was, was incomplete, but uh, Casey and Davis actually each wrote equal parts of that thing. So that chapter was done, which was my biggest worry. So that's that's really good news. See that he's moving along really, really fast. Um, We've got chapters already going to Christine Styles. I believe she's got one through four or one through five. She's either on chapter two, two or, or three now. She had a couple of uh, hiccups that, that, that interrupted, but she's back on the on the stick with that. And she's turning them over to me. I do a final plane, send it to Peter, and he's he's doing layout. And that'll go relatively quick because he's got it all coded in to lay out fast, and he's got his art finished. So. I really am anticipating seven weeks we can finally put that uh, that bad boy to rest. 
you know, which is which is always a good thing. Let's put any book that we've had on the, the docket for five years to rest. So, uh, good news on the CKG. Uh, we will follow that up with a lot of uh, me and Peter will begin working on the maps of Eric, expanding those. We've got he's already done the nine templates. I need to go in and enter in all of the place settings and all that information. Give that to him, and he'll he'll redo that. Davis on his end is working on on Inzea. He's already submitted a couple of two uh, two files for all the Inzea setting stuff, so that's cooking along. And then up immediately after, really even before the CKG, I'll be working on some collaborative projects with uh, Tom Cullis over at Fat Dragon Games. He's uh, kind enough to send me this really uh, really cool windmill. Mark put it together for me. I'm not so good with glue and, and all that stuff, but. Uh, so I'll start pinning short adventures for Fat Dragon Games' material, and we'll kind of cross, you know, cross promote with those. He'll he'll link to the adventure, and we'll link to the to the things so you can get the adventure and uh, the model, and actually play the adventure in the model. So uh, a lot of good news on that on, on that front too. A lot of collaboration coming out of there. Um, and after that, you know, we've got the basic set to tackle, which I'm still kind of deciding whether I'm going to sign an author. I, I, I do that with myself. It's kind of my my bad boy crusader. We'll kickstart that again as soon as the CKG is done uh, with number 24. Uh, lots more after that, but uh, I don't want to keep these I don't want these videos to be too long. I want to kind of wrap it up and get this thing on the nets. And we're going to try to get these things out again weekly, like we were doing back in the spring. And that thing should should ease up on us a little bit. So. Uh, that's about all I have. If you haven't, subscribe to our Twitter, Facebook, and uh, the Trolls Tusk. Really, the Trolls Tusk is the key. Get a lot of information on that, special for running, what we're working on, what's coming up, what's been out, what, you know, all this business. Uh, so take a few minutes and, and sign up for all that stuff. And uh, that's about all I got, and we'll see you next week. Often, our adventures make us tired and exhausted, and we drink lots. Happening drinks to get us through the night, which is long and hard on us. Occasionally, we need food, so we eat cookies.